this is the preview uh, for next month uh, the, and the final month of summer's book review. All right. In my office, you can see that I have a shelf of Bibles right here. Now, some of these are Bibles that I use on a pretty regular basis. Others are Bibles that have some sentimental value. Uh, this is a Bible from James Hartley when he passed away. Uh, this is my mother's Bible. This is a rebound edition of the Bible that I was first given when I was oh, 15 or 16. This is the Bible that I was uh, provided at my ordination. It has signatures in it from the men who are a part of my ordination council. I can flip it around in the right direction. That's their names. Then this is a, a Bible that I use. This is the actually the pulpit Bible, the Bible that I usually uh, read from on Sunday mornings. And above this shelf is a shelf of books that just defy being in a category. They're books that mean something to me, that I read at a special time in my life, and that they influenced me greatly and deeply. And that is where this book sits. And that is the book that we're going to do this month. The book that we're going to be reading together in August is Parker Palmer's Let Your Life Speak. It's a book that's only about 116 pages long, and it's provided me numerous moments of inspiration in my life. During uh, the past month when we were doing Frankenstein, one person asked me if we couldn't make things more interactive. And I guess it's a variety of ways to do that, but the way that I'm going to choose to do that with Parker's book is this. On August the 8th, Sunday morning, August the 8th, I do not have to teach Sunday school. All I do is preach that Sunday. So I'm inviting you, if you'd like to learn more about this book, or if you've been reading the book, to join me in my office at 10 o'clock, and we'll talk about the book together on August the 8th, okay? I want to give you just one little sample of what is in this book. Um, the book is about vocation, and Let Your Life Speak is about as simple a way as he can put this. Is Vocation means a calling. It's from the Latin vocatio. It means to be called. It's not a job. It's not a responsibility. It's a calling. And so the title, Let Your Life Speak, is slow down, listen to your life for what your vocation is. And this is one of the sentences in the book. They decide no longer to act on the outside in a way that contradicts some truth about themselves that they hold deeply on the inside. Now that's powerful. That's trying to live a congruent life. A life on the outside that comes from the inside. So join me during the month of August as we share the inspiration of Parker Palmer's Let Your Life Speak on Wednesdays. The videos will be dropped on Wednesday nights at 7 o'clock.